Breaking, Morning Joe Issues Nasty Trump Insult, Joe Should Resign Since Donald Trump won the election last year, infuriating many on the left, some spend their time personally attacking the president. At times, the staunch opponents of President Trump publicly say or do things that the rest of America finds repulsive. Their anti-Americans' antics are causing people, who would otherwise be proud of their country, to turn on it. A few of these opponents of the president appear on the MSNBC's Morning Joe. In a recent rant, reported by Briet Bart, Joe Scarborough compared President Donald Trump to Joseph Stalin. This all stems from the president's pressure on the Department of Justice to investigate Hillary Clinton. Scarborough stated, We are going to get to how horrific this is, what a horrific precedent this would set if Donald Trump goes after his political opponent, pressuring the Justice Department, pressuring the Attorney General to do this. If this is what happens, this is what Joseph Stalin would do, this is what tyrants have done for years, is sick their people on political opponents. His gripe over Mrs. Clinton is one that many Democrats have despite the overwhelming evidence that she is involved in criminal activity. In fact, more of her corruption has been exposed recently. Just two weeks ago, Donna Brazile, former chair of the DNC, made a bold announcement through an excerpt from her book published in Politico. She revealed that the primary for the Democrat Party was a scam. Hillary Clinton took control of the DNC almost a year before she was announced as the nominee, in exchange for payments to the broke party. She then pushed for her nomination through the DNC. People like Senator Bernie Sanders never had a fair chance at the nomination. The game was rigged from the start. Just based on that little bit of provable evidence alone, people want the truth. Many other aspects paint Clinton as a criminal due to her involvement. For example, the Clinton Foundation accepted money from Russian officials and mining investors during the ongoing negotiations of the Uranium One deal. All of this is in addition to the massive email scandal with which she was involved. Mrs. Clinton had private email servers at her home containing classified government information. She ended up bleaching some of the computers and ordering the destruction of devices, rendering the data unrecoverable. These are all things that have occurred over the past couple of years. While Scarborough is accusing the president of being equivalent to Stalin, he should take a hard look at who he supported during the presidential campaign. It's arguable that Mrs. Clinton ran for president so that she could gain control and expand her illegal operations further, in addition to maintaining the concealment of her crimes. While this part is speculation, it appears based on the evidence that she was trying to lead up to something big. She never seemed to care about the will of the American people, only her own agenda. And that can explain why she lost. President Trump came in showing that he was willing to take on the burdens of the country, and expressing his plans for making it better. Scarborough is known for his toxic rhetoric against the president. He has even made a Christmas album mocking the president. Leftists do not try to hide their opposition of Mr. Trump, instead displaying it as a badge of honor. It is causing some serious concern among the American public. In public.